Boogity, 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 let's go flying! <laughs> okay, you get your wing opened up, lay it out. Bam! In a nice little horseshoe. Then you come, you open it up, yada, yada. You know that drill. Now, now, over here, you bring the red tips together in your hands. The red tips always because these are your life. Then you look, you see, you identify the right side, the left side. Now you can see there's a twist right there. So what do I do? I find, okay, this has to go over that. Bam, then I see another one, so I do it again. Bam! Now, you can see the right side is in my right hand, left side is in my left, but there's a twist on my left hand. I flip over, bam, we're solved. Now if you're gonna hook up reverse kiting wise, you're going to take them in your hand and you're going to do a 180 flip to the right. Bam! Then you're gonna separate them, left side goes to the left, right side goes to the right. Now if you're doing a forward launch, which I assume most everyone does when they're flying, you're going to take them, separate them out, roll them inward, and inward. Now this is where it gets tricky. Jordan, come closer. You can see I have a riser here, right? I want to set the riser down with the A's either facing away from me or facing towards me. It doesn't matter which way you do, I personally do away from me. But you want to make sure you're consistent and you do the same way on both sides and you do it the same way every single time. So see now the A's are facing away from me and the A's are facing away from me. Meaning, come closer, meaning when I come to hook in that I know if I grab this with the A's facing away from me, this is the top side and that's free and clear. Now let's grab the motor. Now you have the motor and it's running on your back. You've started it up. You've warmed it up. You have the throttle in your hand. Just adds one more thing. So we're gonna take the throttle and stick it right there. So it's now we have our hands clear. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna back up. Remember, I had the A facing away from me. I'm gonna bend over or lean down and grab it with the A on top. As I know which side the A is. Now I'm gonna turn it facing forward. You can see the A is facing forward, hooking it in that way. Bam! See the A is facing forward. Same with this side. I'm gonna walk over, not turning my back. Grab it, knowing that with the A facing away from me, that is free and clear. I'm gonna bring it with the A facing forward like that, and hook it in. Oh, shnikes. Hook it in. A is still facing forward. Now, the next difficult part is actually grabbing your brakes, grabbing your A's. Before kiting, I move the throttle back over to my throttle hand, get it in my hand, ready to go. Now you can see here, this is a quite complicated jumbo of mess of lines, right? Well, if I look, my D riser's on top if I face it downward like that, right? Now the D's are in front as I face it down. I now come down, grab my brake, come down, grab my brake. Hands come back down and under, and the A's right here and here go onto my thumbs. Bam, just like that. Now with the, the throttle hand, a lot of people don't know how to grab the A, come here Jordan, a lot of people don't know how to grab the A with the throttle hand. You actually wanna tuck it back in the thumb like this, so that it's just back in the thumb. You're not actually holding it, it's just sitting in the thumb. Then you're ready to do your forward launch. After, of course, you position yourself in the center, that by looking side to side, I'm ready to go. It's ready. Oh yeah, look at that. That's right. Oh no. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> and that was a crosswind forward launch just for you all. Thank you.